Hi, I have some dolls for you. She's a real cutie. Her nose is a little chipped. And I believe she's made out of plaster. And she keeps looking over to the left. I don't know why. But she's a light, delightful little doll. And um, she feels like she's Caribbean. I'll see if I can. And there she goes. The second doll I have to show you in pieces or in segments. There's her hat. There's her face. These pins are real. She's got little pins over on her hat. Oh, red lips. She's got a nice little top, which has lace on the side of the arms, and a ribbon where one of the ribbons has unraveled, and a calico dress. And she's got a little petticoat right there. And she's got hard plastic legs. And the legs and arms are all articulated. And I won't show you, but where the body meets the legs, it's attached by string. And she's very nice. The back of her is uneventful, but it's all there. And she's well constructed and well uh, created with a nice dress. And I'll give you one last look at a pretty face. Oh, yeah. And that's that doll. Now, the last doll is a little different. And it has some history to it. This is what's considered a nut doll. The face is made out of a nut. And you can see that's not the lips. But that's where the nut has cracked or dried. She's got a hat full of vegetables. And she's got a sign that says, Selling Vegetables in Dixie. And she's got a basket, again, full of vegetables. And in the other arm is a little basket of flowers. And her legs are made out of leather. What's interesting is that this doll and 11 others in this set, it is a set, were in the American Folk Art Museum many years ago. But she's one of 12 dolls. And who knows where the others are. Her basket is leather, stitched, and she's quite nice. And they're all very adorable dolls. Well, thank you and take care.